Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I create my winged eyeliner or the technique that I use that um, makes it really easy for me to do the line really quick and I'm not over there struggling or taking 30 minutes just for my eyeliner. I'm just going to show you some of my tips and tricks um, to hopefully help, help you with your eyeliner. So I'm just going to show you the brush that I like to use. I like to use synthetic angled eyeliner brushes for me. Personally, it's a little bit easier for me to do it this way. A lot of people um, liked, like the little pointed paintbrush ones. Like Some people find it easier to use these type of brushes, the pointed ones, but um, these are good too. The only thing is that you need to have a really steady hand with these because um, these get more precise and you can get into the inner corner a lot easier, but if you move, it's going to be a lot more noticeable than if you use an angled brush. So, um, a few of my favorites are the MAC 263 and then the Sonia Kashuk Tools number 27. I like these two brushes and then I also like this brush but this came in my Ipsy Glam Bag. So it's just one of the brushes that come in those monthly subscription bags. And I just like it because it's really short but still flexible. And my favorite type of eyeliner is gel eyeliner. Um, the one I'm currently using is by L'Oreal. And this one is the infallible blackest black gel eyeliner. Usually gel eyeliners are waterproof. So to me they last a really long time. And they are also some of the blackest of the black um, eyeliners. So, um, but Another favorite is the L'Oreal Super Slim Eyeliner that I like to use in a hurry because I don't want to bother with a brush and gel eyeliner. And I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. That looks like this. If you watch some of my videos then you will recognize it. And this technique that I'm about to show you, you can use it for pencil, any type of eyeliner that you use. Um, it's just a little method that I do. So I'll go ahead and start showing you what I what I like to do. So I'm going to show you with my gel eyeliner and I like to start off with a very small amount on the brush. Um, you don't need a really thick amount and that's just gonna make it very messy for you. So you just want a very small amount on the brush. Let me get my mirror here. So what you want to do is just pretend that your lower lash line is continuing up and it's usually at the edge of your brow so you just want to create an imaginary line from here to here and I always start on the end of my winged eyeliner so I'll just start to create that little line you can have you can do this with your eyes open and depending on how dramatic you want your winged eyeliner to be you can extend it the more extended it is, the more dramatic your eyeliner is going to be. So I usually like to do it about in the crease area. I like to stop around there. And then all you're going to do after that, I'm not going to put my brush at the very tip of the wing. I'm going to do it just slightly beneath it. And then I'm just going to drag it down and I'm trying to kind of aim towards the center of my eyelid. So something like that. And then all you have to do after that is just fill it in. So I'm going to just fill in that little outline that I created. And then you could always reload your brush if you have to with a little bit of gel eyeliner. I like to just start off with it with minimal amount of product just to create that outline. And then you can put more as you fill in. And make sure to get really close to your lashes. So you can stop here if you like, not fill in the inner part and kind of have just a half winged eyeliner. 
and if you do want to fill in the rest then you just make really light strokes um, towards the inner tear duct and I'll just get in here just kind of like tap my brush in there just to get the line going and then just connect it with the rest of my eyeliner. And then I always try to make this part, the outer part of my eye, my winged eyeliner really sharp, so I'll just tug on the skin just a little bit, just to get that really sharp and to fill in this little, this little area right here. I kind of always forget to fill that in. And that is it. That's how I do my winged eyeliner. That's how I ensure that they're going to be even also. Because if you use that trick, then the wing on the outside is always going to be the same. You're not going to have one this way and then one going that way. Um, it's going to help you to make sure that they're even each time. It's going to be a lot faster. And it's going to take a lot of the guessing work out of um, trying to match them up. So I'll go ahead and do the other one really quick. I'll just kind of show you how I do it in real time so you can see how fast I do it and it's not hard. And there you have it. See, that's basically it. That's all I do. It doesn't even take a minute to do. I don't even think that took me a minute to create. So um, you can go in and perfect it as much as you want. Like it is a little bit squiggly actually. Let me try to smooth it out. But there you go. I hope that this helps you guys and I hope that you're able to do your eyeliner just as quick and practice makes perfect. You're not going to get it the first time. I mean, this is taking me forever to learn. So don't feel bad if it doesn't take, if you don't get it on the first time. But hopefully um, this helps a lot and you won't have to guess about where the wing is. And again, if you want it to be a lot more dramatic, then you just extend the line and then just start to fill it in. And you can make it as thick or as thin as you want. Um, but this is generally how I like to do my everyday eyeliner. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys have any more questions about how I like to do my eyeliner, if you need any more tips or tricks, um, then go ahead and just leave them in the comments below. Of course, I'll try to answer everything as fast as I can. I hope this helped you and I hope it was helpful. Thank you guys as always for watching and I will see you in my next video.